Welcome back everyone, it's Queen of Queen She Me and today we're going to be doing a new video where I use all new natural hair products on my wash day. So we're going to start off with Botanical Bliss. I discovered them on Instagram. They are based out of Atlanta and they are also black owned. So you can follow them on Instagram as well as Facebook. First, I purchased the Stimulating Pre-Poo Oil Treatment. Pretty much you guys know I love anything that's pre-poo related, so I definitely had to get my hands on this. It does contain all organic ingredients, and you can follow Botanical Bliss on Instagram as well as Facebook. Next, I also picked up the Coconut Kiwi Cleansing Co-Wash. It's sulfate and paraben free. It's a no suds co-wash, and you can also use it on a daily basis. Last but not least, I picked up the Lemon Meringue Curl Defining Custard, you guys. This is like my new favorite on wash day. So let me show you guys what I did. Here, you guys are simply gonna see me showing you the consistency of the pre-poo stimulating treatment. And that's what it looks like. It is a very thick oil, believe it or not. And it really does coat the hair. So you actually have to make sure you massage it in your hands to get it to kind of liquefy. And then you can begin massaging it onto your hair. And we're just going to continue working this in. You guys are going to see me actually use smaller sections. And I've noticed that the longer my hair has gotten, I've had to do it in shorter, I'm sorry, in smaller sections just to be able to fully detangle my hair. So as you can see, the oil is really, really well, you guys. As you can see, the comb went through just fine. And I'm just going to continue to just repeat this process, you guys. And then as you can see, my hair is very lengthy now as well. So look at that, it's so shiny and healthy and I really do love that stimulating pre-poo you guys. I cannot go back to the coconut oil. guys i just had to stop what i was doing real quick and just tell you guys this pre-poo oil the stimulating pre-poo oil from botanical bliss is really freaking good like i love the smell i love the way it actually does coat your hair like every single strand on my head is like coated like and they're juicy i don't have grease like running all down well not grease but oil running all down my face like my coconut oil usually does and i like how this really does you know coat the hair and it softens and it moisturizes the hair and it really does have all natural ingredients and as you can see if you can see in the bottle i've only used to about right here and the bottle is actually filled to up here so i can actually get about two or three more uses out of this bottle and it's a four fluid ounce container and i believe i paid about I think I paid $8.99 or $10 for this oil, but I really do like it. So now, as usual, I'm just going to follow that using my Jamaican Black Castor Oil. As you can see, it's been heating up for quite some time because the consistency is really liquidy. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, apply my hot oil treatment. And then I will see you guys um, at the end of the video with my final thoughts. So as you can pretty much see, my hair is very defined and this is just only with using the actual pre-poo itself, you guys. And look at that, my hair is just so defined. So that was really shocking to me that that pre-poo oil actually gave my hair some definition. So that's a really good feature as well. As you can see, my ends look kind of weird. So I do plan on doing somewhat of a chop on my hair pretty soon. So we're gonna go in using the cleansing co-wash, you guys. And again, it is a no suds cleansing co-wash. And I'm gonna show you guys that here. And as you can see, it really does not have a suds to it. It is a cream-based cleanser. And it really does contain all natural ingredients. And so as you can see here, as I massage it into my hair, again, you will not see the suds, but it does smell like kiwi. It really did leave my hair soft and my scalp was actually really clean versus using a lot of other co-washes that I've used in the past as well.
So now as we move to the back, you guys are gonna see on my type 3C hair, how it actually does work. You see my waves actually start to activate as I actually apply the co-wash to my hair and the scalp itself. You guys, I really did like this co-wash, so it's probably gonna be another holy grail of mine. And I'm just gonna section that away and continue to work on the remaining sections as you guys see here. And then I'm simply going to rinse that out and I'm going to follow it using the Petal Fresh Tea Tree Conditioner Treatment, you guys. And it's a scalp treatment. I purchased this at Burlington like six months ago and just got around to using it. And I regret not using it sooner because I've really had itchy dry scalp lately. And it, <laughs> after one use, it just cured the whole situation. So now on my freshly washed hair, we're gonna go in using a new deep conditioning mask, you guys. Oh my gosh. And it is the Entwine Contour um, Intensive Hydration Mask. You guys, I will leave the link to all the products mentioned in this video down below. But it, it reminded me of the Twisted Sister Deep Conditioning Mask. It smells really good. It doesn't necessarily smell like cucumbers, but the texture of it definitely does remind me of that Twisted Sister Deep Conditioner. So as you guys can see here, it's really creamy, it's buttery, and it just melts into the hair like butter. And my hair really did like it. I love the slip from the product. It really did hydrate every single strand of hair on my head. And I'm really going to invest in getting me the big daddy size of this because it's just awesome. So again, in the back on my type three hair, you guys, <laughs> I just love this freaking mask. Like, I just wish I would have just invested in it sooner, but I'm gonna go into more depth about the actual mask itself, you guys, in a little bit. So just stick around to hear my final thoughts using the Entwine Couture Hydrating Mask. you guys just saw that I actually used for the first time Entwine Couture Epic Hydration Curl Reviving Mask. I had to actually read that. That was a long title. And if you guys saw back on my Insta story like ooh, probably like two or three weeks ago, I would say probably two weeks ago, I shared this with you guys because I had actually won this in an actual giveaway. So I figured while well, today filming and trying out, you know, a new brand and I just figured I would just make this whole video about trying new products that I recently got and just doing a whole wash day of actually using them. But I am highly impressed you guys just really quick with Entwine Couture. They were one of the natural hair care brands that I actually wanted to, to try out when I actually was transitioning. But I said I would just wait until I actually went natural to try it. Bam, I won the giveaway. And you guys, I really do love that mask. I'm gonna let this sit on my hair for about two to three hours. And yeah, and then I'm gonna rinse that out. And then I'll see you guys when I get ready to actually set and style my hair for the rest of the week. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, time to style. So we're gonna use the Cream of Nature Argon Buttermilk Leave-In Hair Milk. This is my first time using it. And I got these samples from my December Curl Kit. Oh, I'm sorry, from my November Curl Kit. I'm going to follow that using almond oil to seal in the moisture and I'm going to use the curl defining custard from Botanical Bliss and it's the lemon meringue you guys. Oh, it smells so freaking good. So for the sake of time as you guys can see I've already done a majority of my hair. This is pretty much going to be my style for the whole week. This has been my go to protective style actually for the winter months and it's really been helping a lot. So we're going to go in using the buttermilk you guys and it smells like argon. It smells like straight argon oil and I love it. And we're just gonna work that into this whole section right here. And then we're gonna follow that using some almond oil. Again, we're gonna seal in all that moisture. We're gonna go in doing the lock method. And then we're gonna follow that using the lemon meringue curling custard. And look at that consistency, ooh. And it really is like a whip consistency. It's a lightweight um, curling custard, but it really does give that definite hold that you will look for when trying to actually sit in style for a two strand twist out, you guys. So I was really impressed with that. The scent was not overbearing. A little goes a long way, and I can't wait to try out more products from Botanical Bliss. So again, they're based out of Atlanta, and I'll leave all of her information listed down below. If 
if you like these kind of videos you guys definitely let me know down below in the comment section and i'll do more videos like this but that's pretty much it for this wash day of trying out new natural hair care products you guys and i just really love everything that i used today they all work well together i was really impressed and i just loved how my hair looks um my hair is actually on day four hair right now as i'm recording this voiceover and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching all the information will be listed down below and i'll see you guys in the next one